Hi everybody, Bernadette again. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to do a ring pour on a 10 by 20 inch canvas. I've prepped the back of my canvas. I've got my masking tape on and my push pins in. So I've got my paints mixed up. I'm going to be using different brands of paint. So I've got some... Um, some Dala acrylic paints. I'm going to be using the permanent yellow, the orange, as well as the deep yellow in the Dala brand. And then I've mixed up some Montmartre paints. And these Montmartre paints you can find at PNA stores. I've mixed up the old mauve, the gold, as well as the dimensions white. And then lastly, I'm also adding a Zalcraft color. I'm using the dark red. So my mix is for a ring pour is nice and a thick consistency. It makes a mound when you pour it back into the cup, but it's still nice, rich and creamy and it still flows. So my, my ratio is one part paint to one part pouring medium. And I used for this, I used 50 grams of paint, 50 grams of pouring medium. I mixed the thinnest paint first, one part paint to one part pouring medium. This paint did not need extra water. And then I chose the thickest uh, or heaviest body paint, which was my Dala paint. And I needed 10 moles of water to bring it to the same consistency as, as this color. So you start when you mix your colors, you always start with the thinnest uh, paint first or the softest body paint first and then you mix the rest of your colors and you bring it to this consistency so that everything is the same consistency so um, this is the as you can see same consistency as the other colors this is the Montmartre um, now this was the dark red of uh, Zalcraft you can see all the same consistency um, this one is the gold. You'll see the same consistency. This is Montmartre gold. So it helps to first mix your thinnest paint and then your thickest paint. You bring it to the same consistency. So I'm going to do a three cup um, ring pour and I'm going to layer my cups the same way. I'm going to start with a little bit of the white and um, when you layer your cups with a ring pour, you pour your paint down the side of the cup. Down the side of the cup. I'm going to layer all my cups the same way. Then I'm going for the, the yellow right on top of that, um, on that top white, still going down the side of your cup. You'll notice that if you pour your paints this way, it lays nicely on top of the layer below. I'm going to go for a little bit of gold at this point. Then I'm going for the deep orange. Oops. Let me keep that cup nicely so you can see it nicely. Right. Now I'm going for deep yellow. Then I'm going to do the dark red. A little bit of gold again. Now the old mauve of Montmartre. Bit of gold again. Okay, 
here we go. My cups are done. This doesn't matter because you're going to be covering your canvas anyway. So I'm going to start with a puddle of white. Puddle of white for each one. I'm going to thin down the rest of the gold because I want it as a flow extender. So I'm going to add some water. Just a tiny bit of water. I'm going to pour this around the rings once it's, once it's on the canvas. Now that's my cup. I'm going to, this is a paper cup. So it's nice and um, easy to bend. You bend it so that you have a spout to pour your paint back out. All right, here goes. Let's start in the middle. We go that one's done <clears throat> now for the next cup As you get to the end of the paint, you can go slower and right in the center is where you want to now place your cup or position your spout. Just waiting for that white to come out. Get some of that white into the middle. And now the last cup. All right, I want to add some gold around each of these. My pouring medium for this was just glue and water, as I always use glue and water right let's just spread this around get a spatula 
it's going to go over the edges as we as we told I just want to cover the canvas with this color paint okay that's it got that done I've got such butter fingers today all right let's let's tilt and stretch the strings i am already loving it absolutely wild and stunning oh i love these colors together i'm using a palette knife and i'm just running it on the underside of the canvas just to get those strips cut off just pulling the skewer stick through the center and creating some nice rings as well just like that here we go that's what i want it looks lovely okay let me torch it There's no silicone in the paints when I do ring pours. I don't want cells in a ring pour. Alright, I think that's done and it's stunning. Let me bring you down for your close-up now. <laughs> 